Yeah, so I would use the GoPro Hero 10 today to show you a few things, but it's just not good enough for the setup I have in mind here. Um, I want to get close up, and close up works best with the iPhone. So here's my iPhone stand with a magnetic hold here. Look at that. This is a magnetic tripod. We are talking today about the GoPro Max. It's in there. And I'm going to show quick how that goes. And let me switch over here to this camera. Look at my Hero 10 here. So this thing comes in a trick bag so that you don't damage it. So it's a very sensitive here on the screen when it falls over. And then it's also sensitive for those lenses, right? So it has those lens caps. You take those off, one here and one there. And the moment you put the camera down like this or it falls on the ground like this, then your lens would be broken immediately. So we want to take a quick look at how this looks like, how clean and great this is. There's one lens, the battery case. And there's the other lens. Look at it. Neat, right? And to protect it, you use those caps. So whenever you move the camera around, you use those caps over it. And what I like really on this is the offset here. Let me show this here. You see the offset? So when you clip this lens on, you can use your thumb on the other side to hold it. Here, either there, like that, or there, right? So when those lenses would be at the same side, then you would touch one lens when you put the other one on. That's really what it is. In my last video, I talked about that you need a straight line here to your tripod and that there's nothing sticking out on the sides. So that's why I got this aluminum piece here. You can turn this around like this, but it's not necessary since it's around tripod thing and then I also use a short screw here so that it doesn't stick out too far on the side that should give me really a good view and we're gonna try this in a moment I want to show you one more thing here in my little bag I have a little pouch and in the pouch I have a little extra this is a lens protection thing okay where you can still film for I'm gonna put this on here. It's the same thing, you can just clip it on like this. So now if you would bump the camera here, you would not be able to destroy the actual lens. There's a second one in here. Yeah, I put it now here on this field. Um, let's come off. Look at this. Oh, is there a dark hand there? inside of it <laughs> Look at that. so now we have a real good protection with those bubbles would you say hey can you see those like when you record now would that make the video quality good or bad let's try that i'm going to turn this thing on and then we switch to the gopro here and we'll see how this looks like gopro is recording and I'm going to go to the full length. There we are. Now we are ready to do the next shot.
So now to protect it, I put my caps on here and then I turn it off. You see the battery was not so wet anymore. And then I have to make sure that those don't scratch. You can put it here in two ways. Fine. Putting this away is um, painful but like a hard case would be so much better where they really fit in here. We don't have that. It comes in this pouch. Pouch. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Danny Black, who's also playing around with 360 cameras. <coughs> How do I get there? Pouch, 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 kangaroo, Australia. Pouch, Kangaroo, Australia. That is only means a shout out to Danny Black, who also does recordings with 360 cameras or GoPro and whatnot. Go visit his channel for a change and take a look what he has there on his channel a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next.